Yeah. Fox Sports Radio. Well, yeah. I just want to get back to the Laker game real quick. Uh, just to see Bynum with that 27 points tonight and then 15 rebounds doing that double-double. Then on Wednesday, which of course is my non-sports day, I was not aware till Thursday that Bynum had 42 points against the Clippers. Well, who is this guy, Andrew Bynum? This is a great compliment to Kobe with that 30 points last night. The third shift on Fox. Well, yeah, that was a key jumper for for uh, Jamal Crawford. 15.4 seconds there. And surprising to see the Warriors upset the Hornets there. Chris Paul had 31. David West was having some back spasms. He sidelined for uh, about five games or so. Had 12 points. Nice to see him back for the Hornets as well. The third shift on Fox. Interesting stuff. Well, one thing about the the Steelers' defense, uh, they haven't allowed a 300-yard passer all season. And the interesting thing about Kurt Warner, he actually topped that figure six times during 2008. The three playoff games looked great, 770 yards, eight TDs, only two interceptions in those three playoff games. So that defense definitely has to show up. Fox Super Bowl Saturday night. It's the third show. You were mentioning Fitzgerald. I mean, it was just incredible for the playoffs. 23 receptions, 419 yards, five TDs. He had three scores against your Eagles, and I hate to keep bringing that up, but he's a monster. Even when you're double-teaming him, he's still catching passes. If they triple-team him, obviously you're going to be leaving other receivers open, so it, I don't think it looks good for the secondary for Pittsburgh. We're kicking off your Super Bowl weekend with the third shift. And maybe it's a balanced uh, attack. I mean, I, That's exactly yeah. what I was thinking about. I mean, a lot of teams uh, really rely either on their passing game or their running game or their defense. I believe the Cardinals have both of those situations going on with Edrin, got Anthony Quinn Bolden, you got yep. Fitzgerald working for you. Right now they do. The third shift on Fox. Fitzgerald has 130 yards. The Cardinals, I think, squeak this out for sure. I mean, if you're talking about those kind of numbers. Well, wait a minute, you're changing your take here, Kate. But no, Come no, on. I'm not changing my pick. I'm saying I'm I'm going there with Jr. If if that's the number you see, and I'm if I was just reading the stats and I didn't even see the game, I'm thinking, yeah. That they got it. They have nailed it. Are you kidding? You're sitting on the fence. I am not yeah. sitting on the fence. <laughs> You're a secret you call- Cardinal you, fan. That's what it is. Are you calling me out? Yes, I am. If we were on Radio Row, you would be on the floor right now. Yeah, well, yeah, of course, because of your entourage <laughs> that goes with you. That's right. That wall. That wall around me of security. We are live. From those AutoZone studios of Fox Sports Radio. In Los Angeles. We know I mean, Heinz Ward went ahead and sprained his right knee there in the AFC Championship uh, game over yep. the Ravens, but uh, he's expected to be okay. But, uh, you know, those are the things you have to be concerned about. Even though they clear you, obviously it's a big game. They still want you to play. We know Big Ben went ahead and had that concussion. People I've known that had concussions, it still kind of lingers even a few weeks after you've been cleared. Yeah, it's funny. We were talking to Romo, man. You know, the the guy that that happened to at the tail end of his career, Troy Aikman. He never, boy, he didn't want to step away. 877-99 on Fox. I don't necessarily like the Cardinals, but... Well, yeah, I know you don't. That's uh, that's. But, uh, but know, I don't ha- la- last week's show, too, I mentioned yeah. the Cardinals. I think they're, they're actually the better team. They were, for three weeks now, in uh, three playoff games, they were the underdog, and they came back and went, how many times does this team have to win for you to believe in them? You know what? It is true. Yeah, I give them cred. I give them cred for those three games. I said it. We are live. From those AutoZone studios of Fox Sports Radio. In Los Angeles. David Tyree. Didn't he drop every pass in practice the entire week and he makes that play? You know, the Tyree catch is kind of funny because you're, you're, that's a good point you make. Tyree wasn't making that many great catches, wasn't doing that well, and then all of a sudden he gets a catch off his helmet. Isn't that almost like a mistake? You know, it was like a lucky bounce off your helmet. It's kind of weird. It was. It almost seemed like a strange thing. Almost like he, It seemed like he had Velcro there or something. It was shocking. It's like a Three Stooges type episode. Yes, when he went down. Maybe we'll see another Three Stooges type play. I hope so. In Tampa, I hope so too. Can I have something Be- for the highlight reel? This is the third shift on Fox. This is ridiculous. It's a radio show. The third shift. And why are they coming to see that game? Because they want to see Kobe Bryant and the Lakers, so they get a huge crowd. Ironically, uh, Alan Horton, who does play-by-play for the Timberwolves, I was hoping to get him on the show uh, tonight, this morning rather, and I ended up calling in the first couple minutes of the game, and he ends up answering the phone while doing a call, which was sort of him telling me, hey, I'm trying to do a game right now, don't call me, which I just wanted to leave a message to say, can you come on after the game? (laughs) So it was kind of ironic. Yeah. Did he know it was you calling? Yeah, he saw my number on caller oh. ID. I heard him doing the call, you know, and I was like, no, don't just leave, send me the voicemail. Oh, that's the worst. 
Hey, by the way, too, the final score in that, can you tell we're Lakers fans? The Lakers <laughs> with the 132. That was their season high. I didn't realize that. 132 a lot points, of points, baby. That is a lot of points. Absolutely. And well, when uh, you got Kobe and, and uh, Bynum playing like the way you are, you're going to rack up some points. We are live from those AutoZone studios of Fox Sports Radio in Los Angeles.